Cadaverine is not commonly encountered as an aroma in beer, which is good as it is certainly considered an aroma defect. As the name suggests, it is sometimes likened to the aroma of a dead body. But the most common descriptors used for this refer to decaying meat or shellfish. Cadaverine is one of several highly aromatic compounds produced in spoiled fish and meats. In beer, this compound is usually caused by bacterial contamination in the beer itself or by the inappropriate choice of bacteria strains used in sour beer productions. It can also be present in spontaneously fermented beers that rely on yeast and bacteria in the environment to ferment the beer, a practice most associated with production of Belgian Lombic-style beers. The aroma of cadaverine isn't common in beer, primarily because the yeast strains we use don't have the ability to produce it. Some strains of wild yeast can produce this compound, but a brewery wouldn't generally select such a yeast strain for beer production. Cadaverine is classified as a biogenic amine, which are naturally occurring compounds that sometimes exhibit off flavors and aromas in food and beverages. Some classes of biogenic amines can also cause physiological reactions in humans, which make them a potential health concern if they are in high concentrations. In most cases, bacteria is responsible for the production of cadaverine, with some bacteria strains carrying an enzyme that can catalyze the decarboxylation of the amino acid lysine into cadaverine. In beer, biogenic amines are mainly formed by lactic acid bacteria belonging to the species within Lactobacillus, Pediococcus, and Enococcus. Not all the strains within these species have the capacity to produce biogenic amines. While accidental contamination of products may lead to biogenic amine production, the intentional use of commercially available lactic acid bacteria strains that are able to produce biogenic amines is a potential cause of the production of this aroma. This underscores the importance of checking with suppliers for the characteristics of strains with respect to the production of this compound. When selecting microbial strains for intentional use in brewing, Brewers must choose strains that have been tested to show they lack the specific enzymes that catalyze production of cadaverine and other biogenic amines. The supplier of the strain should have tested their culture collection to know if any of their strains can produce cadaverine or any other related byproducts. Breweries also need to practice good brewery hygiene including cleaning of areas like malt handling and milling, which can produce dust contaminated with bacteria that can carry into the rest of the brewery. One type of brewing that lacks control over potential biogenic amine production is the practice of wild or spontaneous fermentation, which involves using airborne yeast and bacteria to settle into cooled wort and carry out the required fermentation. Breweries conducting spontaneous fermentation should be aware of the risks of extensive biogenic amine production in their finished beer, and appropriate techniques should be applied to limit biogenic amine formation from a standpoint of both off-flavor production and human health concerns.